Hi, hand readers. I'm Jennifer, a long-time practitioner, teacher, and author of all matters to do with hand reading, palmistry, and chirology. And today I'm going to be talking about droplets, which are protuberances of flesh, which on some people's hands look as if they're falling off the tips of the pad of the flesh of the finger. Not everybody has droplets, and today we're going to look into what it might indicate when you meet with somebody or if you yourself happen, happen to have droplets on your fingertips. If you've been watching my previous videos, you may have heard me talk about counseling and coaching themes. I do like to use markers on the hands, almost like portals through which we enter into a conversation about a particular area of that person's life. When it comes to droplets, I feel that the theme, the backdrop for that person's interface with their life experience is very linked to sensitivity. The reason I'd gravitate towards the backdrop of sensitivity being a theme in the owner of Droplet's life is because droplets in the five element system of interpreting hands are governed by water. And water, of course, is the most sensitive element. When we see very developed pads at the tips of fingers, like in this image, we think about the pad being a reservoir for extra nerve endings. It creates a very sensitive sense of touch. The person will be tactile and sensual. They might often reach out to touch the fabrics around them and would be very likely to be averse to certain fabrics on their skin. They might even be tactile defensive to the point of actually having an aversion that's quite acute that certain fabrics cannot be worn against their skin at all. And mostly you'll find that people with droplets will gravitate towards natural fabrics. So in a reading with somebody with droplets, I would also inquire into the extent of their tactile sensitivity and how that might be influencing their life. Droplets on fingertips are also a sign of kindness and compassion in the owner. This is a person who is very sensitive to suffering and despairs of others suffering or animals suffering and uh, will make an effort to avoid hurting others with a spoken word and may in, in turn be very sensitized to violence of the spoken word. So um, arguments and crude and rude and vulgar behavior would also very much go against their grain. All water-governed features in hands will increase deep feeling responses in the owner of those hands. Another thing that we consider for the person with droplets is that their droplets activate or increase their, the extent of their intuition. We can be quite sure that that person will have quite a developed sense of intuitive perceptiveness. It's also believed that people with droplets, because of their good sense of touch, don't easily drop things. It's quite a cute meaning there. If you yourself have droplets, please let me know whether you drop things, what it's like for you to sense and experience fabrics particularly or textures and how you feel your droplets might be influencing your life. In next week's video, I'll be talking about baby fingers. Thanks so much for watching and listening. I'll see you next week.